Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today I want to share with you a very interesting tool to create charts and animations like this so that you can present your data in a more appealing and interesting way. Okay, This could be in a line chart, in a bubble chart, like this. Of course this was very fast, but I will explain you how to create the things like this and where it came from. Okay, so basically I found this in the Gapminder website when I was looking for business analytics and other stuff. I found this video of Hans Roslin and it's very interesting. I really recommend you to look at it because he explains the word in uh, with like the in comparing the income and the life expectancy by country in a very uh, amazing way. You know, there is all a story behind. And you can find the same data and the same information in Gapminder's uh, website. So he was a co-founder of Gapminder. And you can come here, gapminder.org slash tools. You will find basically the, the same chart that he was showing here. But you can select many other metrics. As you can see here on the x-axis, we have the income. It's still loading. So we have income and life expectancy right here. Each bubble is a country. And the size, as you can see here on the bottom, is the population, right? We have a, a timeline down here. It's a bit difficult to see, but if we play, if we click here in the play button, this will go year over year, but we can speed it up by hovering and changing this little button here. So this is changing the speed of the chart of the animation. But we can also play it with uh, by dragging this icon to the right. So you can do your own time. Okay. We can highlight a country. So for example, if we want to look at Russia, we can just do like this and we will, as you can see, we're tracking it because the trails are enabled in this button, but if we remove, we will just see the country going on and on, okay? Well, we can highlight other countries, we can change the metrics, and here we also have many other options. So we can change this access to child mortality, for example, uh, population, and we have many other folders here with other indicators. Okay, by sector, by other industries. Very interesting. Uh, not all of them have the same time range, but still it's very interesting to see how things evolve and you can relate one with the other. And besides that, we have also other options. We have like the income chart, this maps, trends, ranks, and age. You can download this software. This is a software, okay. You come here to the facts, tools offline, click here. You can also access the data if you want. Okay. Um, and then you can download for your computer. I'm running here the Gapminder in my computer. As you can see, it's basically a, a browser. And after inserting your data, I will explain how to do that. You can also export it to an HTML. Okay. So as you can see here in the, in the, in the chart, this is just a web page. You can insert this in your own website, okay? Very interesting. When you download the software, the first screen you, you will see is to choose a chart. But to upload your own data, you can just use this bubble chart, the rankings, and the lines, okay? At least for now. Uh, how can you upload your own data? I have here a sample data. So basically, you need one column with your dimension, your main dimension one column with the years or the timeline and it should not be formatted like this should be very specific in this case i'm using just years and in the bubble chart example i'm using two metrics for two axes i have volume and value for the line charts i'm uploading this one so i have the company calling here one as our company the years the value and the color is the second measure because I have colored it by this column. Okay, I will just explain in a second. So come here 
on the right corner click on new chart you can choose the the one for like it's already pre-populated with the gapminder charts uh, data sorry but you can upload your own data so click here choose from csv or excel you can select the bubble chart lines or rankings okay if you, in my case here the time goes down just like this in this example okay if you're if you have a data set that has the time the years in columns it could also work you just click on this button okay in my case I will be selecting the bubbles the time is going down and this is my table my file first let's go to the scatter plot because it's a bubble chart and let's hit OK All right so we can move the years like this we can highlight one specific company like this as you can see we have the track because the trail is on again and we can change the color I can select here by a specific measure or using the dimension the size we can change it as well we can change the axis if I want to change like the value in here and the volume in the y-axis this could also be achieved as you can see we have a transparency so there are many other options in this button that we can change so we have the opacity so regular opacity and opacity of non-selected if I just increase you just saw that they are more like they are highlighted right now we can change the time the play speed which is basically the same thing that this button does X and Y axis size of the bubble color labels so what's the size of the label and basically these are the main options and when I create some kind of animation with this I use uh, some software to record the screen okay so I like I put it on like this to just pick this side this part of the screen to put it on a presentation or something like that so that you can play it and everyone will follow up with the development or like the performance of the product or the, the company and so on okay you can also highlight the others and same thing with the other chart so let me just bring here the second option creating a line chart with my second tab hit OK and here is the same thing very interesting we can highlight we can change the color in this case I have created one specific column to because of this scale as you can see here we can like give a color to one to four and we can change it right here okay so one two three four like intervals so this is basically a measure okay this could be like we could color it by value right so it would change over time and the last point is that you can export this visualization to a web page so you can come here on the top export for a web and you will have an HTML with everything you need to put it on your website and well basically that's it I hope you like this kind of content this was very useful for me so I hope you find some use case as well and subscribe to the channel normally I talk about click but uh, this is also related to data visualization and BI tools okay see you soon see you in the next video bye bye